Hey Fly Tires, Chris Maholka here. Today I'm going to share some fly tying history with you as well as a way to save a bunch of money. Currently on the market there are a lot of different types of fibers that are used for bait fish patterns, log, especially big saltwater patterns and other types of minnows. Where this all started, simply enough, was macrame cord. And I'm going to show you how to get from this to this. Now, macrame cord comes in large spools like this. Um, the main brand is called Bonnie Braid, and you can get it at most craft stores everywhere online in, in probably 60 colors or something. There are 140 yards or something like that on this spool, so enough to make bait fish for the rest of your life. So if you are in a club or tie with somebody uh, that also likes to tie similar patterns, you might want to split some of these colors like some whites and some greens and blues and things. There are two basic types of macrame cord you need to be aware of. There is a twisted, which is just very simply that, very easy to untwist. But I have found that this one is also very hard to brush out and make straight. So what I like to use is the braided, like you saw on the big spool. And most of the colors come in braided, actually more colors in braided than in the twisted. Turn this cord into your fly tying material. A couple things you'll need. I like uh, zip ties. You can also use twist ties. They're just not as secure. And a good stiff brush. And it has to have straight bristles. You can't have little knobs on the end because those will hang up and be really tough to brush. So all we do is we take this cord we separate it into the bunch of different strands. I think there are eight strands in a cord on this particular one. Just pull out, and I'm going to pull four because if you do them in smaller bunches, it's far quicker and easier to make material. Yeah, that leaves us another four in that one. We'll just take those, kind of gang them together, and go about to the middle. And I'm going to zip tie them. Small zip ties so it can pull really tight and hold this into a, a good cluster. So we'll get the ends about even. And then we're gonna zip tie it. Pull that zip tie really tight. Now all you have to do is take our stiff bristle brush and brush. If you pull some out long, you can pull it back on the other side or just trim it off. If you get knots in it, it's best to just cut the knot out at the end where it brushes out and it helps things get straighter all the way down without hanging your brush up. And then with a few brush strokes, there you go. There's a nice hank of bait fish tying material.